Hello everyone, my name is Orhan Özgüner. In this study, I will present the three-dimensional tracking of surgical needles from stereoendoscopic video image strip streams in robotic minimally invasive surgery scenario. To enhance surgeon performance and reduce the operation time on robotic minimally invasive surgery, autonomous robotic surgical assistants have been proposed. Due to its repetitive nature, suturing is ideally suited to this form of automation. In this automation task, idea is to keep the surgeon as a decision maker while relying on the robotic system to manage the execution of the low-level motions. Localizing and tracking of the surgical needles is a key enabling technology for this automation procedure. Earlier studies in the literature rely on simplifying assumptions such as artificially colored needles, unchanged lighting conditions or external camera systems which are not applicable to practical robotic minimal invasive surgery scenarios. In contrast, the present study aims to perform needle tracking using images from the endoscopic stereo cameras of a realistic system without any modification to the robotic tools, endoscopes, or the surgical needles. In order to achieve these goals, we proposed vision-based Bayesian state estimation method for localizing and tracking the surgical needle. As the Bayesian estimator, we chose particle filter algorithm, as the underlying system is neither linear nor Gaussian. The proposed method is quantitatively validated by evaluating the needle tracking accuracy under various noise conditions using a Roscoe Zebo based simulation of the Da Vinci surgical robotic system. The simulation environment provides a perfect baseline since the robot calibration, forward kinematics, and the joint sensor feedback are exactly known. Here is an example of a dynamic tracking under the occlusion on the, the gazebo simulation environment. The proposed method was validated on the DaVinci Surgical Robotic System upgraded with the open source open hardware DaVinci Research Kit from Johns Hopkins University. The performance of the proposed method is tested under different conditions, including occlusions. Here is an example of a dynamic tracking case while the needle is grasped by the manipulator. In this case, the robot manipulator tip is commanded to move and the occlusion is manually created using a similar tool. As a case study, we performed automated needle grasping task. The needle is randomly inserted into the endoscopic view. The particle filter algorithm detects the needle in the workspace. Once it converges to a solution, the needle location is sent to the robot for grasping. As we can see, the needle is successfully held by the manipulator. The validation results indicate that the proposed algorithm can successfully localize the needle starting from moderate levels of initialization uncertainty and successfully track the needle while it's being manipulated by a robotic gripper. Thank you for your attention. Looking forward to further discussions in the interactive session.